Hello friends, thank you so much for stopping back in today's video. It's my Monday motivational clean with me video. And today I am battling the laundry room, the pile up of dirty laundry. And I'm going to take you along with me to give you some tips to keep your laundry from building up. When my children were small and I used to work, it was hard for me to keep my laundry obey. We didn't have social media, we didn't have Pinterest, YouTube, and we didn't have all that stuff. But my mother used to come and help me. So here I am returning the favor. Yes, I am helping my daughter-in-law and son with their laundry on today. And it's so very simple, guys. As I show you the laundry room, this is the before. And I am going to do a little cleaning in this. Just putting some things away. Can't move too much stuff around so that she can be able to find it. But there is a closet in this laundry room. I just love the size of their laundry room. Now, the reason I haven't shared mine with you yet is because it's in reconstruction. It's a mess and I have to redo it in order to share it. So let's get started. My first tip I wanna share with you is set away some time to get your laundry done. The more you keep pushing it back, the more it's gonna get further and further back. What I've learned dealing with laundry is to do a load of laundry at least once or either every two days you know it just depends on your family load so i hope that this is helping you on today when you wash your laundry you got to make sure as soon as you're taking it out the dryer that you are taking time to put up your laundry many times we're making mistakes by washing clothes and throwing them in a basket or throwing them in a room that's a no-no guys i used to do that and i had to learn how to do my laundry without delay or me procrastinating so when you wash your clothes the best remedy i can give you out of any tips i can give you is to wash dry and fold wash dry and fold okay and as you're watching me here i am just sorting through the laundry so i can begin washing the clothes now just set some time away to do your laundry, even if you start the night before. Now, this is going to be an all-day job, maybe four or five hours. It just depends because the type of washing machine that they have are the energy-sufficient washing machines. And I think the less time, washing machine time, is 35 to 40 minutes. And then you have the dry time, about 50 minutes to an hour. So it just going to depend on, your, on your, how long your washes are but set aside so make sure you wash dry fold and also put those clothes up because sometimes i used to make a mistake i'll fold the clothes and leave it right there and everybody go in my clothes and now it's messed up and i have to start it over so guys i hope that this is helping you so continue on the watch and i'll be back after a while y'all have a blessed day and once again happy labor's day God bless you.
this is my first load and I decided to wash the kids clothes first because my oldest grand is in school and they do need their school clothes so I follow my own tips I wash them I fold the clothes and then I put the clothes up so I think it's approximately about five to six loads but I stayed on the routine and I cleaned up this laundry room once you get started just keep doing it and if you're doing it in your home when you put your laundry on you could go do another project we just have to stop procrastinating and just get the work done or get in the mood i've heard a lot of youtubers said it's like cleaning therapy and it is when your home is clean it makes you feel so much better now my son and my daughter-in-law is not even here he went out to a race that he's in uh with the motorcycle club or whatever you want to call it they're doing a race out of town so they will be surprised when they come back because i'm keeping the grains for just a couple of days now here what i'm doing i'm taking the clothes out of this room so i can clean and organize it or just put things away because i don't want to put things where she cannot find it then she will be calling me mama where you put this and mama where you put that so i will be putting her things away in the laundry room closet the easiest way to declutter and clean your room or any room is to first take everything out and only put the things back that you want so i'm taking all the clothes out i don't sort them and i've got them lined up in a pile and i'm going to clean this laundry room If you're new today, I would love for you to subscribe. My channel is a lifestyle channel. I just love motivating people, even in trying to get our home in order, turning our house into a home, cleaning our home, staying on a friendly budget, and guys, even motivating you, whether it be spiritually. I love to motivate people and continue to follow your dream and don't give up. Keep pressing forward and keep grinding. I would love for you to join today if you're new. And thank you so much for those that are following me here on this platform. I truly appreciate everyone. Love you. Thank you. And God bless you for doing that. Friends, I hope y'all getting something out of this video on today. Guys, get up and do. Don't procrastinate. Just get up and do.
sweet concussion. Oh, you be my touching. Thank you so much for watching. As you see, I have cleaned up the laundry room. I'm telling you, just put your mind to it and you can do it. This is the after and everything came out so beautiful. Thank you so much for watching once again. And I hope you all have a blessed and prosperous day. See you in my next video. Bye bye from Penny.